Yo, what's up? You tuning in to joelbrazil.com. You dig? It's your girl, Brat, B to the R-A-T. Ricky Smiley for real. Yeah. So I'm here with the one and only Atlanta's finest, Juicy. How are you doing this evening? I'm fine. And yourself? I'm doing great. Pleasure is meeting you. And Red never looks so good. Oh, <laughs> you know what they call it? Firecracker, baby. Oh. <laughs> so what can we expect from the show? Uh, from the Ricky Smiley for real, a lot of laughter, a lot of fun times. Real things happening. Like he said, Ricky Smiley for real. This is what we do every day. So we have fun on the air and off the air. You know, we love we love us some of you. So what can we expect from you? Comic relief. <laughs> oh, I tell it like it is. I keep it real. Yes. Oh, Miss Juicy Baby um, is my personal um, my fan page on Facebook. Uh, Charlene Miss Juicy King is my page on Facebook. Miss Juicy J on Twitter. Miss Juicy RSMS on Instagram. Or my website, MissJuicyBaby.com. Juicy everything. Yes, Juicy everything. I also have my own Juicy gear too. And it's called Miss Juicy Baby. Thank you so much, baby. Okay? Love you. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll start off by saying happy belated birthday. Thank you. <laughs> what did you do for your birthday? Just chill. Got a massage, did the spa thing, and just relaxed. So tell us more about the Smiley Show. Oh, man. Expect excitement, fun, family-oriented, everything. It's great. I love being on it. Um, you get to see more Brat. I open up a little more, give a little more of myself when I kind of held back before. So it's going to be fun. Ricky's like... He's not old enough to be like my pops, but he has that mentality that he just wants to see his people succeed. Exactly. And I'm so grateful that he gave me the platform to get my shine back on. I will say, you paved the way for so many female rappers in the game, and I'm glad that you're doing Queen of Rap Battle. So yeah. can you tell us a little more about that? Oh, yeah, it's called Queen of the Ring. My girl Babs from Making the Band, Diddy's Making the Band. Um, she started it, and I just became a part of it. And it's about female MCs battling, and it's just dope, you know? Like, it's letting people know that it's not about the ass and the titties and how you look. It's about the lifestyle and hip-hop and what you go through and how you come up and survive in life, period. So I can't wait to display that for everybody. We're working on that diligently right now. So how's it going, Gary? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing great. What inspired the look tonight? Well, I mean, believe it or not, this is some out of the closet, honey. I dress out of my closet. I don't go out and buy nothing new for um, events or anything like that because I shop every day. So, I mean, you just go in your closet and you just pull out some money and just, you know, and it's red carpet. So what better than to wear different colors than red? Exactly. So what can we expect from the show? The show is a great show, honey. We're gonna This season two is much, well, I'm not going to say it's much better than season one because both shows shows were great exactly. but it, you know we all you know everybody's creating their own lane you know like juicy has a line coming out with her t-shirt i have a thong line yeah, so you know so let's talk about that mm. how did you come up with the thong line? well because i wear thongs i love thongs honey <laughs> no honestly i love thongs honey and i, I think so i want to share that with more men more men should wear thongs to liberate themselves we can save money on cotton you just have a string and you have the cup and you got it, you know. And I think women would love to see their man walk away from the bed honey, with a nice tongue and not some damn white drawers or some white boxers and stuff like that. Who wants to see boxers? So, yeah. Yeah, when can we look forward to this? Like, They'll be out sometime, if not by the end of this year, by the first of next year, because my guy now is in China, actually. He's getting us some more prints and fabrics. So we're coming up with, so maybe by, we're going to be filming the show probably tomorrow or so, but it'll be by the end of this season or the first of next season, so you'll be able to have a pair. So, since you're always on the go, what other future projects do um, we have coming up? Um, I'm hosting Gay Pride in Atlanta in June, and I host a lot of different shows and stuff, and I have a, a, I host a show at the Improv once a month in Dallas, and I'm, I'm supposed to be in a movie, they want me to do this movie, but they're not paying enough mo money for me, <laughs> so I don't know, honey, so I may do it, I may not, and, I, um, and I'm, um, I'm the spokesperson for this hair care line, Sunny Isles, it's for natural hair, so it's, it's just so much. Thank you. 
Well, I can't leave without saying, you know, um, left anniversaries just passed. Yes, so, yes. Huh? Sorry, excuse me. So, what's, what, what was your fondest memory? Oh, so many. I mean, Lisa was just everything to us. I mean, a sister, you know, an aunt, sometimes a mother. So, you know, Lisa was just so great. So, I mean, I have so many wonderful memories of her. And I can mention always her, her legacy a lot. Yes. And it's always a pleasure seeing you. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Did you catch that? All right, all right. Ooh. Never a dull moment on the carpet, never. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure seeing you. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, I'm here hey. with the queen of Atlanta. Well, thank you. The queen. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. How's aunt, auntie treating you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, getting over a cold. But, um. I need to, like, a, I'm dying. Where's my assistant? Um, but no, I love being an auntie. Little Bailey is her name, and uh -huh. she is just gorgeous. Yeah, she's just like a little doll, and I'm just like obsessed with her. So, you're an aunt now. You're an entrepreneur. You're a beauty. You're a brand. You What's know. next for Portia? What's next? Everything I'm working on right now. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm still working on my lingerie line. Well, I'm not working on it, but it's expanding. Um, Naked Lingerie Boutique. And um, it's just doing really, really well for me. I have some big things, some meetings coming up to really take it, you know, internationally. So I'm, I'm excited. I look forward to it. Yeah. It's always a pleasure seeing you, okay? Thank you, you so, too. Thank you. Hey, can I get you one more thing? Brandon. Oh, Brandon, really? Okay. I can take it. Wait, wait. It's his birthday. So can you wish him a happy birthday and then I'll, I'll film it? Okay. It's his birthday. Brandon. Go. Oh. She's going to talk to you. Wait, 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 one more time. One more time. So I'm here with the Beef Food Kelly. You just did an interview with Dish Nation. You said laughter is good for the soul. It Spe is. And speaking of soul, I was listening to a classic album, Soul of a Woman. And let me tell you, that brought back so much memories. We need good music like that. We do, we do. But I'm excited about what's happening in music right now. I think that it's, it's been kind of on a roller coaster ride. But I think that that was really about this generation and the, the generation before and even the generation before that trying to find a way to marry what it is that we all do and still appreciate the lanes that everybody rolls in. Exactly. And so um, I'm excited. I have new music coming this year. As long as there are people that are still doing what you love. So you, you, you're looking, you got Fantasia out there, you got Jasmine Sullivan out there, Faith yes. Evans is coming this year. I'm coming this year. Legacy is a beast. Tamia, Deborah, like when you think about those kind of singers, they're exactly. so out there. Jennifer Hudson, people that can grab a microphone, and if all the power goes out, they still gonna blow you away. Yes, and I will say, I yes. always attend scales. Absolutely. I always attend scales every Tuesday. I would say, yes. your performance, oh my God. Thank and, you. Oh, Thank I you love that much. voice. Thank so you. I cannot wait to see you live again. Yes. I, I just, I love the soon voice. Soon and very soon. Yes. Soon and very so. soon. We're gonna do something very special. I'm back in the city of Atlanta now. I I lived here many years ago. I moved away. I was gone for 10 years, and I moved back. And so um, this place has always been my home. I grew up in New York, but when I came here, this city embraced me so well. So, we love um, you. And I love Atlanta. So I'm here, and so I'm um, close to the time of the release of the album. We're going to do something very, very special just for my home city. I look forward to it, and I love yes. you, and thank you for, thank for you. all that you do for the R&B industry. Thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you.